This is another day on Black Ops 2. Prime example, right? I'm going to call the swarm it. All right, this other team was ass. These dudes couldn't do nothing. I called it overall VSATs, dogs, you know, seven of my finest bitches, as I call them. I'm going to come in here. My own swarm just blew me up like I ain't shit. Somebody please tell me what's going on, Rathams. Case money. <laughs> I right, motherfuckers, did you see that shit? How the? How? Now, you know, this is a joint partnership venture. Watch the replay with me. Like, watch this as we go because I cannot, I refuse to believe I was a victim of circumstance to my own goddamn big ass kill streak. It's right here, I reload this guy's ass. Give me that. I don't know what happened. But if you didn't know, if you don't understand what happened, if you, well, even though I said it in the preview clip, basically we were playing Domination. The other team was fucking feces. We went in straight, straight up buns. Ass! But, dude, was horrible. So, you know, we ended up getting kill streaks. Now, spawn trapping and all that, that's not really something you can even do. That's to get a double, give me that. Both of them got boys in the hood. And, um, I don't know. What happened? I'm walking. Now, I thought initially maybe my teammate's uh, AGR killed me. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? As I get cleaned up right there, I can always be killed on a head glitch. But I tell you what, I can never kill somebody. Even though I'm getting hit markers, I don't get a head shot. It's like, where's my bullets going? But, um, yeah, so I called a swarm in. And then I'm walking. There's a uh, friendly AGR. That's not mine. It's my teammates. That didn't kill me. I got killed by something that flew down and said, fuck you. You know, it's like, oh, bruh. And then I'm looking. Mistakes were made. You want to tell me? I, absolutely mistakes were made. That's not in the game by design. So I don't really know what happened. It wasn't hardcore mode or anything like that. But that's one glitch. And then, like, the very next. Look at that. I got. I don't know who, who shot me. It's like a shot in the back. Boys in the hood. Um, And then I ended up, like, what's the next game? But with the same session, I, I go to TDM. And I believe I was playing solo, which is always easy to get YouTube gameplay. That's a secret that nobody wants to admit. That's why a lot of people play uh, solo. Um, I call in the orbital VSAT. I've, I earned it and called it in, and it never showed up on the map. That's something I don't... They're like the announcer. He never called it in. Um, a UAV was called in after my Blackbird, like 30 seconds after, and I seen the gas spawn behind me. But the Blackbird itself, or excuse me, I know people going to be, it's orbital VSAT. You're on the old shit. I'm sorry. The orbital VSAT never came in again. And I'm just trying to figure out what happened. Has anybody ever experienced this? Because it hurts. Bad enough at TDM, the kills are only worth 100. You know, like I said yesterday, you know, they, I wish they would make it 150, even 125. 125 per kill on Team Deathmatch would move the orbital VSAT from a 12 kill kill streak to a 10 kill, 10 kill kill streak. Which is a lot more reasonable. You know, people think, oh, it's only two kills. How many people, you know, with the game away, this it's just a it's a crazy game. Think anything can happen when you play this. It's just like mad, you know. You never know when your starting quarterback is gonna get injured or fumble or just be out for the season, and then you get stuck playing with anybody, you know what I'm saying? So it's like the same thing we're here. The spawns are random. It's just it's mayhem out this bitch. That's all I can really say. So Yes, one and two kills makes a difference, which is why I was using Heartland. I kind of got away from it because I'm in a position where I have to run certain perks to counter things. So Heartland is not even an option for me right now. Yes, I do have it on one class, I believe, but that's pretty soon it's going to come up. Um, this is all the first Call of Duty where I felt like Heartland was actually an important perk to run. These other Call of Duties, I felt like Heartland, yes, yeah, cool, it's useful, but like... How does that stack up against a scavenger? You know what I mean? How does that stack up against a, a stopping power and stuff like that? So I would never run that, but on here you definitely gotta run it. So the thing with Team Deathmatch is you earn your kill streaks. You know you can run high kill streaks. It's gonna be difficult, and you will yes you'll have your games where you do go ham. You know you're gonna spawn and kill eight people because you know that's just how it goes. But nine out of ten times that game's not gonna go that way. <clears throat> so you gotta take some time, some strategy. And play. You ain't got to play like a bitch head glitching with a target finder cold-blooded. We know who you are out there. I see you, bitch. And I kill you. You don't have to play like that. But you do have to take just a little extra time to be more cautious to earn those kill streaks. But what I'm finding is that even on this game, you finally do get that high kill streak. You know, that starts a chain of even higher kill streaks. Yet, the game starts to get to the point where it's going to end. Like on this game, I think I got the VSAT. That was my first kill streak. 
I'm sorry, that was my second kill streak because I had lightning strike. That was my second kill streak, and I had either the low star or the warship after that, right? Well, the game, by the time I got the visa, it was like 68 kills in, and that's what you're going to find out. So what I'm doing is I'm changing my team deathmatch setup a little bit so I can get some more gameplay. Then maybe I'll try to go big and go or go home with the with the, the higher kill streaks, which is one thing I like. I preached absolutely in Modern Warfare 3 that yes, having a separate set of kill streaks for each class was nice, but it was a crutch. The thing with you know I did a video on this. If you want to run high kill streaks, you yourself you're gambling. All right. If you don't get them, you just shit out of luck because it's a gamble to run those high kill streaks. That's not fair for you to like. What do I look like? I got on. I had on. Uh, I had the one day I had. I was being. I was dumb as I had low star dogs and swarm on. Right. Then we went up against a full party, and then I, I say, oh well, I ain't getting this, and then turn on UAV counter UAV and hunter killer drone. You shouldn't be able to do that. So that was my thing. But like I said on here, you finally do. Look, I called. I called it in. I called. The Blackbird, Orbital VSAT, whatever in, and it never came. Yet, these two guys managed to spawn right behind me. That goes to show you how the spawns are. And, you know, when we watch this live stream, that's said this on Twitter, we watch live streams and all that. Get out of my face, bitch! Ice cream! Give me that. He tried to jump off the ledge shooting. When we watch live streams and stuff, the spawns weren't like this because people would have been calling it out. They had, you know, the spawns were normal spawns. But then when the game came out, we don't know what happened. But... Like I said, I really do like this game, man. You know, I might say a little thing here and there, but I'm not just going to go on an all-out rant bitching about the game because I do enjoy this game. It's fun, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some the connections is a problem, but, like, I don't feel like I'm being straight up cheated by people that's 1-13 and 13 and shit like that from MW3. But let me know how y'all feel, man. Have you ever seen any of these glitches? I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. All right, y'all. Drop the beat. Taste money. Taste money. <laughs>